This is George from High Tech Legion. Of course, over the last couple of years, we've been seeing a trend of uh, TDPs and, you know, overall power requirements of enthusiast parts coming down dramatically, especially in video cards and CPUs themselves. But of course, with this uh, drop in overall need for power, there's also become a need for more precise power and better control, better regulation from the power supply. Today, we're going to take a look at a new piece from EVGA, which boasts some of the best regulation numbers on the market, the Supernova 850G2. Okay, first things first, let's take a look at the packaging and get some of the product specs on the Supernova A50G2. EVGA did do a really nice job on the packaging, as you see here, beautiful front of the package. And moving around to the back, we can get a look at some of the specs on the A50G2. First off, uh, it uses new eco-intelligent thermal cooling system. Uh, what this does actually is the fan remains off until the unit hits about 55 degrees, at which point the fan spins up. Uh, when it gets to 65, it'll spin up further to 1500 RPM, keeping the unit cool. And as it cools down, once again, it'll drop when it reaches 60 degrees, and once again, drop at 45 degrees down to absolutely off. So you get uh, silent cooling as well as great efficiency from the cooling system. Now, taking a look at the features, full modular design. So all the cables are modular, no fixed cables to the unit, stable power with very efficient uh, ripple and noise, provides up to 70.8 uh, amps and 849.6 watts on a 12 volt rail. It is a single 12 volt rail, so you do get uh, continuous power across one single 12 volt rail. No need for mixing, matching, anything of that nature. It is all on a single rail. 100% Japanese capacitors, uh, of course, all solid. Very, very good quality going in. Complete protections, OCP, OVP, UVP, OPP, and SCP. So in the case of uh, over voltage, over power, et cetera, the unit does have its own built-in protection to shut down to protect itself as well as all of your other components. Provides up to 850 watts at 50 degrees centigrade. So very important rating right there. A lot of the power supplies we see are only rated at uh, 35 to 40 degrees centigrade. This is up to 50 degrees centigrade. So you do get a really nice rating right there on the power. So you are gonna get continual power in, uh, continuous power inside of a very, very hot case. 80 plus gold certified, so right about 90% efficiency. Um, ultra quiet, two ball bearing 140 millimeter fan, which as we saw is controlled by the eco cooling system. Um, new eco intelligent thermal control feature, went over that, SLI and cross, uh, crossfire ready of course. Active power factor correction um, with a value of 0.99. So if you do have some ripple coming in, you are gonna get power power correction through the uh, PSU itself. So those ripples coming in aren't gonna be a big deal. It's gonna put out a nice continuous power. Type voltage regulation, uh, 2%. DC to DC converter design. So the secondary is a DC uh, to DC converter, not an AC to DC. So you're gonna get a little bit better efficiency there as well as better regulation. Outstanding 10 year warranty. EVGA does back this with a 10 year warranty and obviously their reputation for customer service is absolutely outstanding. Compliance with the RP lot 6 2013 requirements. So some really great looking features and specs here. Cables included, 124 pin ATX, two four plus four pin uh, CPU cables. So you do have dual CPU cables available. Two six plus two pin PCI Express, two um, six plus two pin plus a six pin on one cable. So you get two of them. So if you're running um, a GPU that is using one eight pin plus one six pin, you only need one cable to run it. Two, uh, three SATA cables, two, uh, one four SATA cable, one four Molex cable, plus a floppy disk adapter. It's not hard attached. It's an adapter that goes onto the Molex, so it's not hanging off there as most people aren't gonna use it. And finally, one power cable. So great looking packaging. Now, finally, just taking a quick look. The uh, five volt is capable of 24 amps, three volt, 24 amps also, capable of accumulative 120 watts. And as we said, 70.8 amps on the 12 volt, 849.6 uh, watts on the 12 volt. Now, the specs on the Supernova 850G2 are very, very impressive, obviously. So let's take a look at the unit itself. One of the things that EVGA does, it's a little bit different than most, uh, ma or most manufacturers and marketers of power supplies. The fan grill is actually uh, part of the case itself. 
It's actually holes punched in the case. There's no separate fan grill. And it's a uh, very interesting design, which obviously follows along with the EVGA branding. Very good looking case. Also very solid looking, industrial looking. Got a very cool look uh, inside the case with the 850 down the bottom, as you see here. Now, when it's on its side, obviously, both sides are identical. So if you're top mounting or bottom mounting, you're going to get the same look from the sides. You've got the EVGA Supernova logo, uh, logo with the 850G2, as well as your power output and the 80 plus gold certification. Over on the back, your serial number sticker, as well as the um, part sticker. Now, going around the back, you've got all your modular connections as you see here. It uses a two cable motherboard connection, which is um, a little bit unusual, but something we're seeing more and more manufacturers going to. You've got four SATA connectors down the bottom, as you see here. Got your CPU connectors right on top of the other. As I say, it is two CPU connectors, um, four plus four pins. And you've got your four VGA connectors on the outside. So as you're putting it together, it's um, very well laid out and going to be very easy to ratchet your cables and decide what you're using, not using, and get a very clean look. You can do uh, just the entire top row if you like. You can do um, top row, obviously, for the motherboard, switch over, you know, however is going to be most convenient for you. The point being, it gives you some flexibility within the case. Now, looking around the back, as you can see, you've got really nice exhaust here. It's all mesh, so you're going to get good airflow through the case, through the 140 millimeter on the top or bottom, depending on how you're mounting it, in fresh air, and the out uh, through here is got plenty of um, airflow space to get through. So you're going to have nice airflow, and you can see you've got some good solid components in there. Now on the back, of course, you've got your on-off switch and your power cable connection. You've also got your eco fan on and off switch right here. Turning the eco to on obviously turns on the eco uh, intelligent function that we discussed. Turning it off, the fan is going to run continually. Uh, it will, of course, step up speeds as the um, heat goes up, but it will not turn off at idle. So it won't be dead silent at idle, but honestly, uh, the fan in here was quiet enough during testing. Even at top speed, it was not uh, loud outside of the case in any way, shape, or form. It was barely audible. But you do have the option of turning the eco on and off. So you've got a great-looking design here. Like I say, uh, the industrial design, very, very solid. They use uh, great casing on all of the EVGA power supplies. Now, also, more importantly, what's inside. Uh, EVGA went to Superflower and used the LeadX platform, which is arguably one of the most stable and... Uh, efficient platforms on the market with some of the best power delivery. So we're expecting great things uh, when we take this onto the bench and see what we get in far, as far as testing. Now let's take a look at the peripherals that come with the uh, 850 Supernova G2. First off, carry pouch for all your cables. Nice way to store them. Cables you're not using. And of course, as you see here, you get the same storage case for the power supply itself. Manual, obviously, very simple. But one of the things you do find here uh, in the packaging, right here, second step of installation, which is optional, is an explanation on the next thing we're going to take a look at, which is a dummy plug. And of course, very simple, how to hook up your components to the power supply itself. <clears throat> next thing, and first thing out of the box, under the uh, Cable case is a dummy plug. What this actually is, of course, every water cooler in the world just said, oh, fantastic. Everybody else just kind of said, what am I going to do with that? This is actually a power supply tester. Uh, you plug this in, power supply not plugged into the motherboard uh, will actually turn on. So you can actually test the output of the power supply without it being hooked up to anything or turned on, you know, by a case or a motherboard. This is also fantastic for water coolers when they're draining, bleeding, um, as well as filling their loops. So nice little inclusion there from EVGA. Moving on, Velcro straps for the cables, four black screws for the hold down, and the cables themselves, of course. Um, the cables are all black, braided cable, black to the end, and they are individually black cables to the end. So you get a great look within the case. Um, if you were looking at sleeving black or whatnot, or just want a blackout design, obviously you're gonna get a great look here. There's no yellow, there's no red, there's um, no splashes of color gonna be added to your system. All black, very, very stealth. All very good length and all very well made. Very nice ends used all the way around, as you can see here on the four plus four. 
CPU cable. They go together very easily and stay together. Uh, taking a look at VGA cables, same type of design with the push together six pin to eight pin. So very nice looking there. Now I did say that we had floppy is just a small attachment, goes into a Molex and you can plug in a floppy uh, in case you happen to be using one. Most people don't use them. So it's nice to actually have it out of the way. And motherboard cable, obviously nice, thick, very well done. As you can see, once again, individual cables to the motherboard itself. And going into the black sleeving. And finally, nice 16 uh, gauge heavy duty power cable is included as well. Getting a look at the test results, we see some absolutely outstanding performance here from the Supernova 850G2. Uh, basically, the uh, 12 volt and 3 volt are completely flatlined. Absolutely perfect. Very, very little droop. Um, once again, all right on spec. The 2% regulation is an absolutely right on statement. Uh, taking a look at the 5 volt, you know, we do see a little bit of ripple, uh, but it's all within acceptable limits, you know, by a long stretch, you know, from 5.08 to 5.04. So really just fantastic results across the board. The performance numbers of the Supernova 850G2 obviously speak for themselves. I mean, they were absolutely phenomenal. The regulation was fantastic. Absolute flat lines on the 12 volt and the 3 volts. Uh, the 5 volt did have a little bit of ripple, but I, you're talking about it looked much worse in the graph than it actually was because it was only 0.04 volts, uh, you know, that ripple. And it really, that's not a problem whatsoever. It really held steady through absolutely everything, all the way up to 718 watts uh, without a problem. So we saw absolutely no fall off. So the regulation claims are definitely there. So now, uh, aside from the absolute performance, why is the EVGA Supernova 850 going to take home an editor's choice? Well, pretty simple. First off, you've got a 10-year warranty. That is an absolutely phenomenal warranty, and you're backed by EVGA, who's got fabulous customer support, always has, always will. So you know you're going in that you can be confident in the purchase that if there's a problem, EVGA is going to take care of you, and you've got 10 years on the power supply to get it taken care of. Next, it's built off the Superflower platform, which is absolutely phenomenal. It's shown great results, not only in performance, but in longevity. So you've got a great platform, you've got great customer support, you've got great performance. I mean... That's really, what more could you ask for? Now, those who know me are probably surprised that I'm not jumping up and down saying, okay, the SATA cables, why don't you have a cable with two SATAs and two Molexes so that, you know, if you're doing two hard drives, um, case fan controller and some LEDs, you can run one cable. Well, yeah, I'd like to see that, but honestly, it's not enough to uh, make this a deal breaker as far as the G2 being an editor's choice. I mean, it's just a phenomenal power supply all the way around. It also happens to be great looking. And also the eco feature works perfectly. So during our testing, we tested with the eco feature on and it stayed absolutely dead silent, fan not moving until it uh, heated up to about, oh, about 50 degrees, at which point the fan turned on. As we ran a little longer, it turned up. Now it never was really audible outside of the case. Uh, if you were over next to it, yeah, sure you could hear it, but it was never disturbingly loud and you'd never hear it over your case fans. Uh, now, with the eco feature off, once again, very, very quiet during normal loads and it ramped up accordingly as the um, load and heat went up and once again, never got really audible outside of the case. So, I mean, just the performance on it was phenomenal. So, really, EVGA is giving you the complete package here in terms of the power supply. So... The, once again, the 850G2 Supernova is going to take home a High Tech Legion Editor's Choice Award, and very, very deservedly so, and comes with absolutely the highest recommendation of power supplies on the market today.